Hello everybody, welcome to the Let's Be Friends podcast with me, Lucas the Third, Mr. Wartbig. Okay, hello. Say hello. <laughs> Silent. God damn it. Okay, right, you gotta right. say we're gonna say hello. Keep we rolling, didn't even rolling, discuss keep rolling, that. Keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling. And Mo. Hello. Miss Linda. Hello. And the last but not least, the Cam. Whoa, whoa. Who is his first podcast? I'm the noob. He, he has been the on... first official, anyway. Oh my god, <laughs> no! He has been on no others. No, I was on the first podcast release. The released. other one doesn't exist. <laughs> it was thrown into the abyss from the Lego Movie. Never to oh god, it's not... no, no, no spoilers. <laughs> what they do to it's not a spoiler movie. for the love of God. <laughs> okay. I love that movie. All right. Okay. 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 All right. Now, how has everyone's week been? Well, two weeks, really. We haven't made a podcast in two weeks. Yeah. Should we start like... with Cam? Because I think Cam's got an interesting story to tell. Since yes. He just came back from. Well, Linda, my plan America. was to go. My plan was to go through us all and then leave Cam the space at the end for a big chunk so we could talk. But you know, let's let's not do that. Let's go straight let's to Cam. Let's wing it. Woo! Well, so I'm going now. Yay! Or Lego jokes. Woo! Oh God! None Mo of knows that. what's up. None of that. I okay, know, Cam. Yeah. All right. If you want to go first, then That's how has your week part. been? Um, well, I was in Philadelphia all last week, working every day, and it was something, that's for sure. Kind of tiring, just working every day from about half past eight till about six, and I didn't really get much chance to do anything else. Like go to the penitentiary? I am not going to that damn prison, though. <laughs> we, went, we have been through this. Mm. I'm not going to see Das Boot. I'm still <laughs> disappointed in you. <laughs> okay, Cam, from one... Let's not get onto the damn... Get Das Boot. Jeez. Das Boot no. is inspiration. No, it's not. We're going to have to That's explain now what Das Boot is. And you guys can never explain it properly to me. I'll, I'll let Mo explain it. I always say that it is the pinnacle of modern art. And it's inspirational to all the children in the world. I'm going to have to link Das Boot now. There you go. Wait, did you but, climb yes. the rocky steps at the very least? Uh, no, I didn't get a chance to do yeah. that. And oh. I am gutted. I, I feel sorry for you. Yeah, I feel sorry for myself. Cam, from one... I feel very I, tired I'd punch as your well. boss. If you didn't have time to go climb the rocky steps, I'd... I'm sorry, man. I don't like your boss. <laughs> yeah. You should have made that a priority like, before you got to the building. It's like, we're just going to take a detour. All right, here's well, the rocky steps. Go. <laughs> Priority number Good. one was to get a Philly cheesesteak, which I did within about two hours of landing in Philadelphia. <laughs> yes. Wait, was was it any good? It was marvellous. I'm not sure I'd like to eat it all the time, though. Because, Is it too fatty? Or... Yeah, there's so, I mean, there was just oil dripping off of it. and Welcome it to was America. kind of disgusting, but at the same time... <laughs> it's it was like all of our food. Well played, well played, Mal. Welcome to America. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically what we eat. Woo! But it's okay Food because and sugar. we are now the second fattest country behind Mexico. So yeah, they got fatter. So we there. just stayed the same. That's because they're eating, off, they're eating your waste. So there. But hey, they're just below you and they're so... eating off whatever comes their way from I think you. we're like 1% less, I think, is the thing. 1% less. Be Woo-hoo. proud. <laughs> we did it, guys. <laughs> we love Making our food. Difference. Right, oh. It's okay. Wait, wait, we can uh, From one British person to another British person, mm-hmm. is it everything we ever dreamed it would be? Is what? Wait, what? America. Well, I've, what do you mean is it everything? Do, what do you do, dream do, America do, 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 to be? Do, 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 does it all Were hold there up? eagles everywhere? There were no eagles. Oh. I think oh. the eagle is a lie, to be honest. It's because <laughs> when you're from a different country, you can't see the eagles. Oh, only, what? only what? Americans wow. can see the eagles. Really? <laughs> yeah. Like, that might be true. They can't might be, be tamed. That's a good point. Just after, after you know, you go through that whole thing to be an American citizen, they give you contact lenses, and then you can just yes, see them. Yes, and then you can see the eagles. <laughs> Every. After you're an American citizen, they're like, "Congrats, you can see the eagles now." It's what you've always <laughs> been wanting. Your Get whole some life laser eyes, Hudry. To wow. see the eagles, they're majestic. I'll stick with being British. Okay, yeah, we don't need no eagles. We, we have it pretty good. <laughs> yes, I can play Don't have Nothing eagles as pets, you know, whatever. No, we, we have we have dragons, and what does your country have, Cass? Um, Yorkshire puddings. <laughs> 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 I 
there is a there is a major difference as between pets. my country and your country, yeah. Cam, right there. Mine has dragons <laughs> and pets. yours has puddings. <laughs> puddings. I mean, to be fair, pets. I think we would all choose for the Yorkshire pudding. I don't yeah. know, I don't know. Because yeah. if, if it came to a fight between a dragon and a Yorkshire yeah, pudding... Yorkshire pudding. <laughs> the Yorkshire pudding would win. The Yorkshire I mean, pudding wins every time, I mean, I mean sure. you could throw it in its face and it looked quite humorous. <laughs> <laughs> and then the dragon would be embarrassed and leave. Like, so we just oh, win man. on humor. <laughs> okay, all right. Let's 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 move oh, on. Let's, I'm going to go back to my list. Um, Tom, how has your week been? Pretty damn good, actually. I've had a good one. Uh, started up the RT Olympics group. Been achievement grinding in Halo Wars. Went and saw the Lego Movie. Made a movie about going to see the Lego Movie. <laughs> Oh, yeah. interesting! How Arrow blew my mind again. <laughs> Don't know. Yes, but Arrow. I still need to catch up on that. Raza Goldstarter shows up. It's amazing. Oh no! She has a thing <laughs> with Black Canary. It's great. Uh... Does that make you sad, Lucas? Yeah. It doesn't sound too happy, does it? <laughs> yeah, Why does it make you sad? So miserable. So I was gonna, I was gonna, I was gonna watch Arrow. Yeah, but you it's not Talia. It. It's his other daughter. Yeah, I know. That's not... Spoilers! Spoilers everywhere! But it's not a spoiler. It's in every single press release that they've <laughs> ever know, put out. I know, but I don't look at stuff like that. I, my plan is to wait for series to end and then hide in a hole and watch it all the way. Yeah, but if go. you watch the episode <laughs> description, it's going to tell you that this character I'm not going to look at the description. <laughs> you have to, to click on You're the episode on You're not going to look at Netflix. anything. You could avert your gaze. She's gonna cover your eyes and just <laughs> click on. It's the a play good button. thing to okay, know that they right. come in because she's a big character and it's like and they yeah, do yeah, it I know she's and a they big do it character. correctly and I know she's a big very, character. Very well. That's why I didn't want to be like, oh look at Black Canary. Lucas, nobody is on your side because you're, you're just not. you're just the odd one out. You just don't. Because it's not a watch, spoiler. It's a. You know. This is coming. This is coming from the. This is coming from the woman who shouts at people when they eat food. Yes. We need food to survive. No, it we don't. It's kind of gross to hear people eating. Oh, we heard Waltberg eating yes. all oh, kinds man. of food. And it was, oh, okay, man. that was dead silent. And oh, I, I thought man. my mic was muted. Okay. Was I have it set rough. to do not disturb, so right. I couldn't hear you guys type. That was so. rough. That was let's, just let's, let's, high let's, like, come on guys let's like, move on. Waltberg, tell us more about the, this RT Olympics thing you got going Okay. On. Uh, it's basically a eight team, eight group competition. I sent out invites to about eight different group admins. I've only heard back from about six, sadly. Uh, so I'm looking at getting some other groups invited. I know some groups already have their teams kind of ready to go. We're going to play five different games. Griff Ball, uh, Capture the Flag in Halo 4, Hardcore Team Deathmatch in Call of Duty Black Ops 2, Battle of Los Santos, the Jet Battle 1 in GTA 5, well, that one is a bit of work in progress because I can't remember if they took out the change teams thing. Uh, but maybe if you're in a party, you'll automatically put in the same team. I'm not sure how their team making works in the GTA Online because it it wouldn't work to have people from two different groups on different teams. <laughs> <laughs> it would Probably defeat not. the purpose. That would just be a mess. Of- and the last game is going to be a possibly 3v3, probably a 2v2 Depends on the lag issues. Uh, Minecraft survival tournament. Uh, you will oh, start a fresh game, sweet. like new seed world. Nobody's been in it at all. Start it. You'll write down your seed. So in case there's like issues or something, you can message me the seed of the world, and I'll check it out to make sure no one's been dicking around or anything. And then uh, we simply break off into two teams, go for 15 minutes to build. Somebody on each team will start a timer. Then when the 15 minutes is up, you message each other on the teams to say, hey, the 15's up, let's fight to the death. And that's it. It's really simple, and it can take a really long time, or it can be really, really short. just depends on what strategies you use. It's a really uh, interesting concept. There have been a few tournaments like this on AchievementHunter.com, and I've been in a couple of them, got to the championship rounds. They Some of them take like four hours. Some of them take 20 minutes. Because uh, you can die from the environment, Mm-hmm. And once you die, you're dead. There is no... It's one life, no matter what kills you. Except for possibly lag. Like, if you lag into something that you shouldn't have, or you're lagging through the world, that's generally going to be allowed to... You get a respawn, because it's the world. Like, the game itself just decided to fuck you. <laughs> and I'm and I'm not going to punish a player for that. Fair enough. But that is based on the team has... Both teams have to decide, hey, 
if it wasn't a player being stupid thing, it was the game crashing or whatever. It's not his fault. He can come back in. Okay. All right. Fair enough. And I would just like to say to the LBF community out there that we have yet to organize teams and whatnot for our participation in it, but uh, hopefully we'll get that sorted. And to anyone who wants to participate, uh, contact uh, me and I'll try to help you guys out. And, and we will have the forum for those signups in the link. Yes, down. yes, there are four. I'm pretty sure my, in place. my Midwesterners me team. Pick me the Midwesterners have teams for every game, I think. Oh, God. I'm kind of going to go with them just because... That's your, you made that. That's your baby. Yeah, that's my, my group. And Luke then knows RT third generation apparently has teams. The Achievement Hunter Community Let's Plays, Achievement City Community Let's Plays probably got some teams. Okay. LBF, uh, I've heard back from RVB Scotland, RVB UK, and the latecomers. So that's what is that seven actually, not six. And then I've heard a little rumors from a few different people, but nothing confirmed. So we're getting close. If we could get started by March, that would be really really awesome. Okay. Right. So. But uh, I'd also like to take this opportunity. I just got a few messages now to shout out from the LBF new group noobs noobs. Yes, I did oh, mess wow. up. The LBF noobs <laughs> getting a shout out here, especially the general and blacksmith Pomer. You guys, um, you guys keep rocking. Okay, let's now let's move on. Mo, how has your week been? <sighs> I've been at school all week, and obviously yeah, that's never school. fun. Um, and I can't for the life of me learn math. So, it's always been a great time here. It's cold. It feels like I'm living in Hoth. Um, I have to learn about taxes. It's just generally. I have uh, what I like to call my DC fruit punch sickness, in which I just feel ill for no reason. <clears throat> I'm, like, I'm like constantly really hungry, but also constantly feeling like I'm going to be sick. So, it's been a great week. It's not a good it's really great sure you're all jealous oh. yeah i don't like so the cold jealous. either i live a little bit farther north of you and it sucks balls yeah it's not fun oh, it, i had no a, two good. flat tires yesterday now i, I want to say this i want to say this now because um because uh, we're talking about mo specifically i just learned something interesting about this this weekend about you mo you have oh, a radio you? show i oh, do yeah, yeah. I do have a radio show. And she never talks about this. She never, you've I never did. mentioned this. Luke, she does. We I went have. through this. <laughs> she mentions it all the time. All the time on Friday. I Luke. told you every single time I'm leaving, I have to go to my radio show. Apparently, you just don't pay attention. <laughs> Luke's, Luke's we'll put brain. that in the link. This is, this is new information for Luke's brain. <laughs> is it live stream? Yes. It is online, <laughs> yes. Well, well Mo, Mo, now, now I'll never forget because of the shame it's and humiliation I just received here. <laughs> it's at six thirty um, on Fridays, my time, which is central. I think I don't know, and um, you guys <laughs> took time over is it. Not central. I don't know what it is. What state do you live in? See, it's, it's the time. Something. It's Illinois time. Yeah, you're Central Standard Time. I am Central Standard Time. You guys should shout that even though it's your time. Apologize. Yeah, it is I, my Iowa time. is in the same time Screw zone. Screw you guys. Apologize to her right now. <laughs> yeah, Linda, you live forever <laughs> away. How do you oh, know? I th I thought Central Time was British time. No, that's that like it is. No. That it is. I'll, I'll go with yes. that. The whole yeah, world revolves around our country. I'm, I'm happy. Yes, oh, it does. Definitely. Oh, definitely bullshit. Does. <laughs> I know. Don't worry. Oh, do you watch the Olympics? Yeah, but your country isn't even a real country. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Okay, I had we to are give at it in what, there like somewhere. 13 fired. minutes in before we got an LBF. You can't, or, uh, you can't, you can't see it, but I'm swearing at you in sign. No, I, I, can, <laughs> I can feel it. I can feel it coming. That doesn't really work on an audio podcast, does it, Lucas? No, but you I can do it. I'll put up a, si put up a signal of like a middle finger. To <laughs> like two well, cam from Lucas. You can't, you can't well, Linda, what Usually this works. gives me the opportunity to do is to then use the really bad swear words and then not have to be censored. Yeah. We don't censor oh. anything on this podcast. Oh, no, we That's don't. Right. God damn it, Wartburg, let me have one. <laughs> so oh, I can no, just I mention cheeky you... little cunts and it won't be bleeped out. Oh, oh, <laughs> yep, we're rolling with it. Oh. I guess we're just going to go oh. with it. Lovely. All right, well, okay. Last but not <laughs> Sorry, least, guys. Linda, how has your week been? My week has <laughs> been really good. Shit. That's Linda's gone. Oh, there's <laughs> always one. I'll get it. I'll, I'll 
Alex, I'll explain it, Lucas. You don't have to shout. No, I can do it. I can do it. Linda's got a boyfriend. Linda's got a boyfriend. Linda's got a boyfriend. Oh, Oh, you ruined it. In, in my head, I had a really nice introduction. Like, you guys remember the first podcast? We called it the single edition. She's there were like fucking Six mad. or seven of us. But She's now two of us mad. are not single anymore. <laughs> because I started dating Matt. Thank the Lord. Yay. It happened. It finally happened. I mean, Two none months. of us had any idea about that. No, no, I think had. no one here had any idea. No one here was shouting from the corner of the room with his mic muted. For God's sake, <laughs> you crazy kids, get it together. Well, you Wait, can did give I miss something? Uh, we, oh. we, we, dis- we, we discussed the coupling. Ah, uh, okay. But if we're um, talking about single ladies, uh, form an oddly line, please. So, yeah. I'm 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 at the front. Just, just I'm at the front. Me. No, I mean to actually start a line because the there isn't one. Wow, wow, but you just you. Can't. <laughs> oh. I had to. I had to, I had to bust the boss. I'm sorry. To, to all the uh, ladies out there, I'm you single. My balls, I'm lonely and I have balls. money. <laughs> money. <laughs> you, you don't have money. He's I so mysterious. He doesn't even exist. <laughs> <laughs> He's a mythical creature. <laughs> He's a dragon. I'm I'm Smaug, basically, just sitting on my pile of gold. You wish. You nah. might you might be the you're, dragon. You're Viserys Targaryen. Oh my god, what? <laughs> Ow. I don't I don't care if you you're editing this or bringing bringing this whole podcast. In, just get out. <laughs> hey Lucas, no. can we just discuss a podcast idea in here? Because I'm sure people would comment on it and would find it a brilliant idea. Could we just one time have an intro? Just me doing the Valley's intro? No. <laughs> Luke will not allow that. I, I will uh, protest that. And I, I protest, that I will drive... I don't, ca- I, I don't care how much I love Matt, I will drive an ice pick through your eye if you ever do that. <laughs> That's gonna hurt. That'll sting a that little would, bit. Uh, yeah. Well, it probably wouldn't kill you. No, it it I'd, it doesn't I'd, tickle. I'd let evil Maybe Lucas out for a bit. <laughs> okay, then that would kill you. <laughs> God. So I think that's uh, everyone's week, even though we didn't even give Linda a chance to talk. No, you, <laughs> didn't, you, didn't. you didn't. You didn't tell anything about your week, Lucas. How was your? Week? Oh wow, this is actually very thoughtful, Linda. Thank you. Yeah. Um, you my week. My week's been good. I've. I'm looking forward to the title. Even though I'm talking about this week, I'm looking forward to next week mostly for Valentine's Day. Lol, joke. The Titanfall beta, people. This yeah. is going to be amazing. Yeah. Shut up, the women. <laughs> I'm I am getting my um, wisdom teeth taken out. I bet oh. you're all jealous of my Valentine's Day. Have well, very. I get. To I'm just gonna go see Robocop. I, I mean, it's a drugged. very lovely date with your dentist. Uh, I, um, Your dentist might be a really hot dude now, and you'll be like, "Oh, no. yeah, I'm ready." <laughs> what? He's, he's not. not. He's not. He's like, he's like forty and married. Ouch. But yes, no, come. That's so, a so you, so you checked. <laughs> <laughs> no. Why would I check? He talks about his family all the time. I'm just joking. Okay, you but know, yes. Because I do. Happy Titan Valentine's Fall. Day to me. Titan 4 is going to be great. Cam, are we or are we not recording? We are recording. That is a positive on the recording. So you can look out for that if we ever get it done. <laughs> oh no, it's going to get done now. Mm-hmm. C- Cam it's is... on the podcast. I mean, it's now like people are looking forward now. to it. Yes. But I am jet lagged right to now. Those, to, so those, to those three listeners out there, you. two of the, one of them is going to watch that YouTube video. <laughs> One of them Probably. is going to annoy you for it. I would watch it. And then, the, and then at the same time, they'll be like, "What? I don't get it." And they just turn it off, <laughs> put it in their computer, throw it out the window. Put what it are in you the talking garden. about, Luke? We are so entertaining. Are we? Yeah. Uh, we got at least given the illusion. Hey, we do have like 365 hits on that first podcast. Oh yeah. How many, have we, got, how many have we got on our most recent one? Uh, I'm looking at it right now. Like two. Uh, at least two. Seventy-two. At the, least seventy-two. That's still very good. <laughs> oh wait, was it only a week ago that we did that? Two weeks ago. I have no idea when we did that. Was it two? I wasn't there. Yeah. Was the, it? There? The Let's Be no. Friends podcast for a strong start and then falling on the floor, flailing about for the rest of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was two weeks ago. Like a flightless bird. 
<laughs> All right, <What>? then. <laughs> positive, okay. On that positive note, has anyone got anything to talk about or discuss? Is I think uh, this is a good. A... I think it's a very good segue that you said flightless bird because we can talk about Flappy Bird being shut down because I'm really sad. Oh about yeah. That. Yeah. I th- I think he was threatened Never to get his ass sued. Because I just got a new phone and uh, just today, and now I can't download Flappy Bird. Bird. Good. That's There's going a, to be sad because I was actually to. quite good at it. If you don't count oh, math, that means school. that means I am second now. I have let's be friends. Yes, I was second. But now I am. Yeah, go me, second in a. Seriously, though, I'm no, nothing against the creator now. I think it's a very, very sad thing that you know you have to shut it down. I would never wish anyone else's content to be shut down if it was doing <laughs> well. But at the same time, I dis- I dislike that game. No, well, he's going to take it down himself. It. Well, I know, I the thing know. is, it wasn't copyright. I don't think he was just gonna take it down. Yeah, it's taken down now. It was, it was I wonder. I kind of wonder. There's an Android game that was quite literally exactly the same. It was just a little more of a pixelated version of the game. It had the pipes, the bird, and the touchscreen thing. It was an Android thing, like 2011, and it's still out. And I kind of wonder if something behind the scenes they were like, all right, take it down, and we just won't do anything about it. Yeah, because it doesn't have to be out in the open saying, hey. He didn't have to say that he was he was being threatened with that to take it down. He just took it down quietly. Yeah, which I kind of wonder, like maybe something behind the scenes made him take it down. Like, what other reason would he have to take it down? I don't know. Maybe he is just crazy, and then he didn't like all the the attention. I'd like fifty thousand a day because that's what it was making. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. I don't think that would be enough for him to take it down, though. Because if he's, I mean, Rooster Teeth even made a fucking vine about it. So you know you made it when they're making a vine about it. Yes. Just saying. Highest authority that's that's in the pretty land. much the standard of it. Is that the level of success now? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> if Rooster Teeth makes vines about you, you're pretty damn big. I mean, they made a vine about Harry Potter. Harry Potter was quite big. Well, yes. Well, yes. Well reasoned. Well reasoned. There is a part <laughs> well re- for well. it. <laughs> oh, dear. It's also very easy to make fun of. So. Spoiler Snape kills Dumbledore. Oh. Spoilers! Spoilers. Spoilers! I hadn't watched that mm. movie. I was Straight planning on gate, watching it. You spoiled everything. It's Don't only been yourself. out for years. <laughs> it's yeah, really yeah, hilarious for yeah, yeah. most people. It's like, like he's got a sheep. And there's spoilers. Picture. Luke is Darth Vader's son. Where oh. am I? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Where did that happen? Oh god. Um, no. Guys, please. You ruined it for me. I just, I just, I just want to, I just want to say, I just want to say. Uh, Dad, oh, I mean, I mean Ian. I'm sorry, uh, I, never, I didn't see this coming. Um, I'm gonna hide now. <laughs> Would it be kind of for Dark Vader, like the feeling, like Billy Jean? Dark Vader? Jean. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> that what you said? <laughs> you just sure. said Billy Jean? Is not my love. Billy D. Williams was in the fucking Lego yeah. movie. I and see- then, then, then he would be like, and the not kid is not my son, and then, then Lucas would just show up, and you would be like, son. hello, I'm I want to see, I want to see what his reaction would be like, just a fat Welsh kid, just you know, yeah. in front of yo, I'm your son. <laughs> yo, I tried to I'm make, son, I tried man. to make a joke, but it horribly failed. But it? also, we also we missed, we <laughs> missed bit. Wartburg's perfect um, transition it. to the Lego movie. Wartburg and Mo, you have both seen this. What do you think? <laughs> So good. No, you can you can start. <laughs> it's so good. I don't even know what to say about it without like spoiling it. But oh, I love oh. how they integrated different characters into it. Okay. And how they did all of their personalities, like like people from Batman and Superman and all of them. And Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> Was it Shaquille or Shaquille? Like uh <laughs> They really they do a cool job of explaining like why the sets are all in different places and like how the yeah, world is created crazy. and they tie in like the real world like our world in really really well and the ending is like okay this it's... is veering towards like toy story level greatness it right was now really crazy really it is and it's really time. fucking good Dude. charlie day as the crazy like gotta be high on something spaceman was amazing wait, yes. spaceship wait he was my favorite me? character spaceship spaceship <laughs> so good do you, do you think um, everything is awesome uh, will be a hit yes. single? See, my favorite it. joke about that was when they were saying <laughs> everything's ashamed. cool when you're part of a team. I was like, yeah, I'm sure the Nazis said that. Oh. Wow. Um, it's cool when you're part of a team. 
everything is utter. Uh, what, what's that internet law do? Um, there, well, there is a law of the internet where um, if every argument, ro- oh, I'm going to get shouted at for not remembering the law, but um, <laughs> like it's, it's 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 someone came up with it. But if any argument results in uh, talking about the Nazis, then that argument must stop because it then became a pointless argument. So this podcast has now become pointless. It's been nice speaking to you all. I've been Lucas. Good night. Yeah. But like I said earlier, Billy D. Williams voices Lando Calrissian in the Lego movie. The Millennium Falcon shows up, and they play the blockade run, you know, that awesome entrance with the Millennium Falcon. And Billy D. Williams pops out, and he's, like, uh, flirting with Batman, basically. And it's amazing. In his most perfect Lando Calrissian voice. Okay, There's no, a more. Lot of no bat more, no more, no more, no more. I would love to. A lot of bat puns. Let's wing it. Puns. See what I did Let's there? Swing it. It's it's a bat pun. <laughs> <laughs> Barbara Ew. Dunkelman would approve. <laughs> Barbara Dunkelman approved. Yes, uh, I'm gonna need to get that symbol there. The seal of seal of Punkelman <laughs> approval. <laughs> I like how we can work with photos, and it will be like ah. Yeah, I kind of like that. It's up. cheap, yes. it's free, and it also kind of adds to the audio in cool ways. So. Okay. So um, if you are listening to us, please look back at your screen like a minute ago because there will be a nice stuff in there. <laughs> yeah, and we really we should look into maybe finding a place to host the MP3 format so people can download it and they don't have to be at their computer. Yes, to watch I would it. download it. Are we? Yeah, are I we want big to enough to download it? Uh, well, enough? you could. There, there are several free sites that we could probably look into using. So it's probably big enough yeah. for it to be worth doing that. That's yeah. The my, my, the last one I was on only ever had like 50 hits on YouTube, and we were on the iTunes library. Fair enough. Yeah. Well, Pessimistic Luke has been class, defeated. So <laughs> I don't have to listen to the crazy people. I mean, I mean, once we get on iTunes, then you know we're gonna de- destroy everyone. Yes. <laughs> Watch yeah. out. <laughs> Watch out, mm-hmm. RT. Watch out, Pat. We, we, Watch out, we IGN. will be there. We will be the the fan group that eclipses them. Just, you know, what, we spawn from their site. We were molded by it. Oh, and then, wow, <laughs> is that a reference to the first one? Or you did reference? Yeah, I'm today? tying it in off the first podcast. It's all coming together. It's all a big circle of craziness. <laughs> it's all it's all a dream inside <laughs> Lucas's non-existent mind. <laughs> we're gonna pull a Dallas ending. What? Right. Okay, yeah, but those those endings are cheap. Back to back. Oh god, I dropped my sock. Back to. I Lego. like them in comedies, not in like things that were supposed to be serious. Yeah. But, all right, back to the Lego though. I'm not sure if I remember this right or not, but it's all stop motion animation, yeah. Not really. It's not. Quite well, a bit that, of it is. Okay, but, but there's also some CGI elements that do look. They really do a really good job of making it look stop motion. Okay, but does the stop motion look good? Oh yeah, it's phenomenal. Yeah, it's really good. I'm not sure if you've ever seen it, but Wallace and Gromit level. Well, is that more claymation and stop motion? Yeah, that's claymation. Yeah, but I still say that's stop motion because it's still. Yeah, it's both. This is, you know, hard constructs. Is it Sean the Sheep level? Let's go. Sean the Sheep. (laughs) Jesus. But I I would like, in my my video I made, no one's doing this. Yeah, it is. It's Sean the Sheep. It's Sean the Sheep. Guys. It was great. Okay. Yeah. Yellow so, yeah, I st- actually last night before going to the movie, me and my buddies that were going, we made a video because we had time to kill and we dicked around in the Walmart to- toy aisle and uh, we're actually gonna start a new series called Nerd Sea Films. I don't, or maybe if that's the name we end up going with. And Nerds. we reviewed the Lego Movie, and I'm gonna be linking that. But I was thinking, it'd be really cool for like a Lego Movie to have a non-kids rating. I think it'd be awesome. That'd be just weird, though. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Okay. Like throw um, throw in, in some language in there for the for the older thinking? crowd. Keep this. I mean, it wouldn't need to even need to be like raunchy or anything. Just like oh, a little like PG thirteen yeah. to like throw in some innuendos and stuff would be because better. Because we don't really want to see sexy Lego. <laughs> no, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> sexy Lego. No, it's not what I'm talking. I'm talking okay, like right, right, the language right. and the dialogue could be a little more mature. And that'd be cool. Sexy like Speaking You mean of kind of South <laughs> Park? Well, not South Park, but like in the style no. of just uh, just a bit of more. Making it more adult. It. What would yeah. sexy like a look like? It would look amazing. Uh, I'm in the You're showing one here, hell of a lot that. of plastic. That's all I'm saying. Well, I mean, you you kind of know what 
Well, I mean, if you are kind of an internet person, you kind of know what sexy My Little Pony looks I'm, like. I'm, well, just no. imagine Lego. I no. just, I'm just going to say this. I'm just going to say this. There's Fail. already, there's already enough plastic in porn. It could be okay. <laughs> Boo. Damn this is, this is probably wow. going to be a fetish now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, because of rule, Liam Neeson rule and Morgan Freeman are amazing in the movie. <laughs> Their voices were awesome. When are they not amazing though? He, uh, Liam Neeson, it's his, like, unfiltered, like, it's just him talking without, like, any accent differences or anything, and it's awesome. Oh, my favorite part, one of my favorite parts was with Morgan Freeman, but if I say it, because you guys... Was it the, it. uh, when he's, like, it's glowing? Near the, it's near the end, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that That's scene. That was my favorite part. <laughs> we, like, there was, like, 12 people in our theater, and my crew of four guys, we were, like, the only ones laughing. But it, really? like, the first, the first 40 minutes, it's, you know, general setup kids movie, nothing really... There, there are some really good jokes that hit, but, like, it is a kid's movie. And then the le the next half, you're like, okay, this is it when so it gets great. awesome. A lot <laughs> of jokes hit really in quick. My and I was, like, crying. It was great. That, that, so that last half an hour, it pushed it from good to this could end up being a great movie. And it was. You know? Didn't disappoint. So. Well, I'm going to say this. Nope. Who doesn't like Lego? Who doesn't oh, like Lego? Everybody Anyone fucking who had steps Legos. on it. Oh, but no, even handful. then, you still you still love the pain. Do um, you? Uh, what? I'm not sure what? about that one. I don't step on Lego and go, this uh, is, is Are we going to get into some um, dominatrix territory? Here we go, or Linda's what? new Linda, fetish. Jesus. First it was feet, and then it was, <laughs> and then it was <laughs> hair, Legos. and Stepping now Lego. it's Lego. No, no it's, it's sexy no, Lego. No, no, it's not just Lego. It's Lego as them with all the pain. It's all the pain. What the... The this pain, just... the pain. <laughs> Linda bashes her head and she's like, oh. Yeah, just, I don't know, Why? maybe just dress up with like the big yellow Lego heads maybe that don't change the motion. <laughs> maybe we should not. I like where this is going. <laughs> you do? <laughs> I don't. What? I don't. A bow chicken. What? Okay, um, vote is for it? Not okay. Like it. <laughs> let's, let's move off from Lego. Let's. Because now we just. Yes. Can't I'm, going to, I'm going to Google this and see if no. there's anything oh interesting God. for the link dump. Sh no, just For sexy no. Lego. Uh, li the link dump is going to be as clean as we can make it. Um, I would if. It, uh, not, my... not if we post Canada's Olympic video. Oh, my... yeah. Great segue. Yes. Brilliant. <laughs> No, that was a great video. That's such a great video. Don't you want me, baby? <laughs> now, if wait, 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 we're gonna stop. We're gonna, we're gonna be quiet here for a second. We're gonna give you a time to watch this. Okay, pause the video right. now. Okay, now that you've watched it, <laughs> that is the funniest thing, politically wise, I've seen in a long time. <laughs> and yes. politics isn't normal fun. No, they well, nailed it. They nailed it. They nailed it. They, they really did. Perfectly. Always been a little bit oh, gay. I actually heard a story. I don't know if it's true or not. I haven't like corroborated anything. Uh, at the opening ceremonies, they were missing a ring in the uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The things came down. That guy who was operating the was show found, was found dead this morning. He was found like stabbed to death or something. Really? Like, no, nah, it's not. It's not wow. suspicious at all. He done. He done goofed. Nothing is happening. <laughs> yeah, not like his president's fucking crazy. <laughs> I mean, no, right after he got back into power, they invaded Georgia during the last Winter Olympics. Have you seen Sochi problems? <laughs> I, yeah, the the stuff with like the Sochi problems. The press started all that, like when they got to their hotels, it was bad, like unfinished, couldn't flush the toilets, water that was full of shit. It was <laughs> bad. It was bad. There's an elevator, like when the person went to get on the elevator and the doors opened. It was just the elevator shaft. There's no elevator in it. <laughs> like, Linda, it for God's sake, thing. we're not clicking on sexy Lego. Leave it. Go. I Leave on it, it be. I oh clicked. my God, no! Are you okay? I clicked sexy it. Lego it was will now good. Be in my search oh, history. what is she? Hey, Mo, just does she want the piece of resistance? Lego? Wait, wait, wait. Speaking. Yes. Wait, to tell you, to tell you this all, has anyone heard any of those P Putin flirt jokes? Um, no. no. I'm a. I don't. I don't know about you, but I'm a Putin in her. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. <laughs> that doesn't even mix. We can we control we control the cold north. Now time to control her hot south. Let's let's start and end there. No. Let's just yes. no. Luke, I'm just gonna go out on a limb. I'm not sure they're gonna work for you. I don't know, it's better than my uh, current just... it's better than my current method of waiting in the back of the pub masturbating over them. 
Yeah. Oh, Jesus. God, we're getting weird. Yeah, this you you just derailing this loop. Really, just it just took a dive there. Okay, but 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 <laughs> back to the <laughs> actual advert. I like how Canada did that. Like Canada wasn't bothered you by go, what, the backlash they could have got. They were just like, nah, just done. Because there's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> you go. Yeah. You do your thing, Canada. The people who are they that think that is wrong. there's something wrong with it. Bad people. Whoa, pause. Um, Don't you want anyone, anyone? me? Oh. Karaoke cast. Has anyone, <laughs> anyone got oh anything my. else you want to talk about? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, I do. I actually do have something. Oh so, Supernatural, as you know, is one of my favorite shows. Oh, really? really? I haven't guessed. guessed. So, I wow. never knew. <laughs> anybody who watches Supernatural as religiously as I do will know who the ghost facers are. They're oh, there. I know. They were in like season, I want to say three or four, as like a spin-off kind of possibility. That never really came to fruition, but they were still insanely popular. They're back in a couple weeks Guess when the show back. comes back, and that's gonna be yeah. awesome. I'm gonna link that trailer where they're in if it works. And Snooky is gonna be a crossroads demon. I'm excited <laughs> for that possibility. You see, to me, that means nothing at all. If you say Snooki, I have no idea what you're talking do you about. From mean... Jersey Shore. Jersey Shore. Jersey Shore. Okay. So, what? Um, but, what? Why? Uh, but season three. Oh, because they're going to play off the fact that she got famous because she was a demon who was trying to, like, escape hell, I think, and, like, ended up being famous. Oh, that's a good... <laughs> oh, wow. <Yeah. laughs> I'm going to watch that. Definitely. Yeah, I'm, they, do, that they do that kind of meta comedy very, very well on the show. And, like, in season three or four, again, they had Paris Hilton on the show. And she was in a movie called House of Wax with Jared Padalecki. Mm-hmm. For like a good two, three minutes, they were just making fun of the movie. And if you hadn't seen the movie, you'd have no idea they were doing it. Because you'd think she was trying to kill him. But they were just riffing off the movie and all the bad death scenes in the in that shitty as shit horror movie. It was awesome. <laughs> Not it's a fun clever of that because movie. The no, people... Paris Hilton, I laughed my ass off because she gets a, like, a uh, piece of fence stuck right through the brain, through a car window, oh. right into the brain. Like, she Yay. gets... I laughed. I was like, ha, she's dead. Just gonna leave a scratch. Because um, that movie was so bad. One of my favorite meta comedy moments has to be Goodwill Hunting 2. That was great. Yeah. <laughs> Just... How about them apples, bitch? <laughs> Anyone else? Uh. No? Uh, we've really no. I've never seen either of them. Jane, yeah. Jane Silent Bob strikes back. Yeah, when they go to the set of Goodwill Hunting too. Yeah, oh yeah. I'd like them. Good times, man. No, uh, alrighty then. Um, the silence terrible. says enough. We have. How can seen you be it. nerds? They're terrible. How you? But yeah, like in in the Lego movie, that kind of brings me to the meta comedy. Like, they have Green Lantern within a different movie. Like, it's not a superhero thing. Trying to be friends with all these superheroes and just getting shut down oh, yeah. every step of the way. And it's Channing Tatum <laughs> and Jonah Hill going back and forth from the guys from 21 Jump Street. <laughs> so and funny. Channing Tatum voices a great kind of Superman. And then Jonah Hill is Green Lantern who just Hi, screws neighbor. up all the time. <laughs> Alright, does anyone have any kryptonite on them right now? Jesus. Um, um, I want to go see it again. I want to go I see wanna go Frozen, see the, the sing-along version. Ugh. I watched Frozen today. What you think it's of about it? about time. That is now the highest grossing non-sequel animated movie ever. I Fun. enjoyed it. Because it's fabulous. Yeah, it, it was very good. It's a very good movie. It's uh, just a thing that Tangled was I've still better than Frozen. I've heard it's either great Frozen. or sucks. Well, it depends I've heard what no in between. Expecting. Okay, well, now, Cam, now that you've finally seen that movie, do you want to go outside and build a snowman? <laughs> Do you want to build a build snowman? Build a giant snow penis. Come on, let's go and play. Like, no, you know, I'm not going into this. <laughs> you started, you've got to finish. No, I don't, I just, I don't know the words to that one. I only know all the words to let it go. Do you think, do you think John will make an That, that Mr. Though? Freeze parody is let awesome. Oh, that Mr. Freeze one's great. I love the, did you link me that? I think so. Yeah, that was great. I gotta say, let it go. I didn't go. Hey, Lucas, did you just say that uh, John is it D John? No, <laughs> not, not D John. No, we, we oh, don't okay, talk about D John. Mo, bit, Mo, I mean, Mo no, has no, a no, call. No, 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 hear me out. Hear me out. No, I don't want because... to hear you out on this. We're not talking about my friends. Shut up. 
You are not authorized to, to say information about my friends. No. <laughs> Hashtag keep, Linda Keep the hell. worlds apart. I can speak about your relationship. <laughs> you can't talk about my friends. <laughs> That's that's a double standard. They're not involved in the podcast, though. They're not involved. In there is only fair. Brendan. Shout out to Brendan. We can speak about that's the true. Brendan. That's true. People do know who Matt is, so technically he's in this world, not in the separate world. <laughs> but, but Luke's I, friends are not in this world. But no, hey, they are. Matt, they, 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 as They're far in the as world you know, where, Welsh ex- where the Welsh exist. Oh, hmm. I just so threw a sock. I just threw a sock at my laptop. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, that would be a very interesting discussion. We could discuss. The no. Welsh and no, it did. But we would have to cross dimensions to go talk to them. Oh my god. <laughs> it was no. not feasible. I don't it's have a impossible. quantum entangler, okay? I don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> I like how Luke's just resorted to noise. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Lucas. We love you. But I wanted Mo to talk about. Were you vi- trying, were you yes. trying to ask me something? <laughs> I'm asking you about John, your mystery caller, when you're ready to Oh, show. yeah. Uh, <laughs> Someone on our radio, we never get calls because honestly, no one listens to our radio show. But uh, and quite frankly, quite short as well. Yeah, it's on our radio show is like an hour long on a oh, Friday, no. so obviously, no one is gonna listen to it really. But um, the this time we had a random caller who just identified himself as John, and he suggested to play Banana Rama and gave us trivia that it was. I don't even know who sang it, but whoever sang it, that was their only um, hit song. So it was kind of weird. We never figured out who it was. <laughs> I'd also like to point we, out. I think we hung up on him at one point on accident. I would also like to point out that Mo lied to me. <laughs> Why? Did, how? You, you you said that you didn't have best. You had best damn friend, but it was apparently had a sweary in it, so you couldn't play it. And then when I asked you earlier, you're like, what? Not earlier, but like earlier that night, you're like, what? I don't know what you're talking about. Eh? What? I said that we... I said I would check, and I did, and we didn't have it, because it has a swear word in it, and we're a school radio. <laughs> and they're not they're not for that kind of thing. But you guys basically took over my radio show, so yeah. congrats. Yeah, I got a shout out. <laughs> Yeah, so did I did. About so how, yeah. what is your radio Linda, show you did through? Too, like, how do you oh, did it? I? Oh, yeah. thanks, I guess. You're <laughs> welcome. Um, it's through my school. Okay. Because so I did yeah, one at uh, Warburg College, and it was awesome. Yeah, we, we just I, I have a lot of like drunk callers. And... It was not, not the best. <laughs> we had John. He was a big fan of Bananarama. Good old John. I want to say, I want to say, John. I want to say, Bananarama. Cam, Cam, as a Brit to yes. a Brit, it was be- you would also listen to it. Would you say it was better than Nick Grimshaw's one? What's wrong with Nick Grimshaw? I mean, it was his radio, was, his radio show was better than Nick's. Radio 1. Uh, I'm positive my professionalism was I guess top so. Notch. Yeah, it would be. But you, have you ever I listened to it, Cam? Nope. There we are, then. Let's move on from that. <laughs> Proof that I'm better. Yes. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and say, yeah, Mo is better than Nick Grimshaw. Yay. Of course she is. She's Mo. Hello. <laughs> Hello. I-, I am Mo. That is me. Yes. I have been here the whole time. Hi. Hi, Mo. Hi, Hi, Linda. I'm glad you uh you acknowledge me now. I would say I this kind of meant hello as today. an argument. Hello, of course she is. Was but that sarcastic? It, it felt, it felt, it felt no. good in my head. In my head, the words seemed to be a very good argument for that, but what? it wasn't. <laughs> the words "hello, Mo" sounded like a good argument. Okay. Right. <laughs> is there any new other news to talk? Yeah, about? I've got something. Yes. Okay. I, uh, after Cam, I do. The Loch Ness monster has gone missing. Oh my god. <laughs> Apparently. Because it existed this, in the this first is, place. This is an actual news article. Has any of you ever been to the Lake of Loch Ness? Nessie, no. <laughs> a Nessie fan, Gary Campbell, Nessie, was no. quoted saying, it's very upsetting, we don't know where she's gone. <laughs> the Loch Ness monster must be lying low, as no one has reported seeing the fabled beast for 18 months. That one log that was the Loch Ness monster has finally sunk. 
after all those years. It's just messy. She's, just, she's gone. She's left this world. Maybe all she's gone to where revenue. Wales is a real country. Oh all my god! <laughs> Maybe she is secretly the dragon that just because they say they they say the dragon sleeps in Wales, but maybe the dragon just left Wales. Can you can you just can you just not Linda? Back. Can you know nothing of my country? You know Nobody does nothing of like Scotland. This. I know a lot about the valleys. Don't get me started. You, you on the only valleys. you only know about whores that go from the valleys into Cardiff. <laughs> Shush. And by whores, I'm not saying I'm heaven. not saying as a derogatory term for women, as they are both the whores are male and women in that show. So just <laughs> no. But they are not whores because they are whores. whores means they have a den. They have that den. makes you get paid for sex, but they don't even want payment, they g- man. They just they're having sex on that show. <laughs> they're having sex on that show, and then they're getting paid to be on that show. They are okay. Whores. That's very true. Maybe they are prostitutes. Yes. What show are you even talking about? We're not referencing it. We have no more talk of the valleys. Wales' greatest export: the valleys. No. <laughs> You do not agree, Luke. I, I thought that was Black Bart. <laughs> I thought it was dragons. Black yeah, history reference. What up? Black Bart. <laughs> Bartholomew Roberts. Bringing in the history. Oh, what are we doing here? on a Sunday. Bar- Barty Arty. Oh, very I killed that. I killed that. Okay. Well, well Luke, you had something to talk about. Yeah, I do have a couple of short things. What are we at for time? We're at uh, about 48-ish minutes. Yeah, bad. I'm at... All right. Uh, a couple things that I found on the site that I kind of want to share. Uh, there's this new-ish kind of group, the Community Mass Collaborations. They're doing videos, and they're going to be starting a uh, Community Hunter weekly update. Like, it's going to be a news about the site, because now they're getting, like, 2 million people, you know, on the website, more or less, who are constantly doing stuff. And it's going to be community members telling news about what's happening on the site, like people making their own videos, starting series, you know, making cool things. We should go to them about the podcast. And I'm going to. And <laughs> also, I'm also going to be putting up a video for his... Uh, they, they, he's going to do a community video series. Like, they're going to do a short film compilation. They're going to be 10-second films that he's going to all, like, put into one movie at the end for the Community Hunter channel, which Very is nice. I think is pretty cool. And it's the first one that I'm going to be in is uh, it's an internet hot potato. Like, you have to make a video about a potato. <laughs> I'm going to have two potatoes walking, having a conversation. Then I'm going to cut to one, and the other one's not going to talk. I'm going to have my buddy voice the other one. Then I'm going to have mine turn around. Like, I'm going to use fishing wire and, like, googly eyes on it to make it have a face. <laughs> and he's going to turn around, and all of a sudden his friend's going to be a plate of curly fries from Hardee's. And then he's going to break down crying. Oh, my God. Oh, that's just really sad. <laughs> like, no, oh my, my friend. And then a hand's going to eat his fries. And he's going to look up and go, oh, my God. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. All the feels. Uh-huh. I will cry every time. <laughs> but it's only going to be like 12 seconds long. So It's 12 seconds of feels. That it, is. Already, it already hurts. All yeah. the feels. I'm already tearing up a little bit. Not as much. I'm gonna as film when it today when my buddy videos, comes over. But close to it. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm filming the second episode of Mr. Warburg's Library of Awesomeness tonight. Oh, that's very interesting. Ooh. I watched. And I'll be linking that yeah. again in the link dump because I just started the series and I kind of wanna see where it goes. Uh, Your first video kind of want to make me watch uh, Pacific Rim. Because you, yeah. talk, you talked about like Pacific it. Rim, and I thought, uh, I don't think I will right, like that okay. movie. But yeah, I didn't Pacific like it. Rim. Right, 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 right. I, I Shut up, Mo. Is it totally, any, totally worth a rent at the very least. Is there anyone in this in this pod, in this podcast right now that does not like Pacific Rim? Me. I haven't watched it. You saw it I and do. didn't like it. I did not like it. I saw Mo, it and I did why? not like it. All right, All right. why? And Specifically everyone hates why? me for it. Why? Mo, why? I would like to hear some reasons. Because some one of my friends overhyped it for me, first okay. of all. So I was like, oh, this is going to be really cool. And I went. And honestly, it looked really cool. But I don't really watch movies for how cool they look. So I didn't really like the dialogue. The dialogue kind of killed it for me, honestly. What about the speech? Today we are ending Idris the Elba. apocalypse. I mean, it's just it was just. It's well, I kind of got oh. the feeling that they were trying to go over the top action movie dialogue. Yeah, I because of how I'm consistently they did it. Person, I just but, that's like not that your type of, of thing. 
That you should know that going in, Linda. That that's kind of the dialogue. It's not too yeah, bad. I did like, it. There I are a couple in. dialogue scenes where you're like, I don't think the actors understand subtlety because yeah. there's some less than big yeah. names, you know. And I went into it. I honestly don't watch action movies, so I kind of went into it like. Yeah, like, but it is an action wee! movie. So. Okay. What am I doing? But Id Idris Elba is number one. Never touch me again. Number two, <laughs> never touch me again. <laughs> that was so bad. <laughs> it, it was great because it was Idris Elba delivering that. Nobody else could deliver that and be badass. <laughs> well, Berg, we're not sure. We're not sure if this was through Skype or if it was due to your microphone. But like when you were talking, then it wasn't a big thing. Don't worry. You're probably not going to have to edit out anything. But you went, yes. <laughs> that was really weird. <laughs> I was just gonna ignore it and move on, but no. <laughs> we got, we got, we got to make sure if anything, if anything, I'll mute it on my audio track and we'll be good. Oh, no, no we, don't we mute it, it now, now because now we we, we talked about it. But I'm the editor, <laughs> so I can do that. <laughs> Fuck all of you. Referenced it. <laughs> now I'll just cut just this part out of the podcast. No what are you gonna do about it? I'm gonna I'm gonna pee all over the keyboard. <laughs> you're going to do what? Well, that you wouldn't really be in a podcast again because you then, fry your computer. And then and then and then and then you'll be sad because the podcast will have no Luke. Yeah, but seriously though, who's looked at the links I posted? Uh, the last I'm, three. They're pretty important ones. Some of them. Yeah, I've especially all of them. the first and third. The, okay. Wait. Yeah. I legoed your fucking ego. <laughs> what now? <laughs> okay. Wait, but I went, before we get off Pacific, Pacific, I can't never say Pacific Rim. I want to Get yourself this, together. I want to say this thing to Mo. Mo, I've got. Yeah. Shut up. Let's be friends. Stop calling me. Anyway, Mo. I know why. Why? I want you to. I want you to think of the plot of that movie. Yeah. Really, really, really hard now. Mhm. How could you see the dialogue in that movie being serious or good, based on that plot? <laughs> I can't, and that's why I didn't like it. Yes, but, but you should have known but, that going in. Yeah, you knew the plot. I didn't, though. You knew what the, but you, you should. You should be able to look at a trailer and go, well, oh, I'm well, sorry, this isn't going to be anything that's groundbreaking. Yeah, Molly, you suck. You, I'm you, sorry, I didn't read Visually, though, I think fully. it was pretty groundbreaking. You, that damn oh. sword. You knew what is the deal with that okay, damn sword? Don't, you can't don't be even quiet talk to right me about now. that sword. That, that sword is so stupid. It's anime. It's such an anime concept, it's though. Annoying. Like, whip that out. Oh, you know? This is for my father. Oh, we, so <laughs> we suddenly wow. have a sword. Guillermo del Toro has been heavily influenced, and as he said, by several major animes when he made the movie. That makes which is sense. Why it feels like it's more of a live action just, anime. Just also, like also, you. also, Maybe didn't they, they, didn't they just also say. It and there is plot. There are plot holes in every single fucking major action movie like that. Go, go watch Revenge of the Fallen. <laughs> no. Do not get me started. <laughs> Which did so much better in the box office than Pacific Rim. Movies. And Pacific Rim was a far superior movie. Wow. Um, to be fair, maybe they could have done. Movies. Cool. Maybe just... maybe they could have at least said something about the sword, like, oh, we've never tested this sword yeah, out before. It, that would have been that's why. Or that, like, because he. I don't think. It's. I wonder. I haven't seen the deleted scenes yet. I own it and haven't watched the deleted scenes, but. I kind of get the feeling that they added it after it got destroyed the first time and that he didn't even know it existed. Yeah, but then but only she, only she kind of knew. Well, like, it's an end-of-the-world scenario. It's not like they get to have weeks of training with him in the new, newly rebuilt robot. Yes, but that's, I mean, so, the whole thing is that she knew. No, no, not yeah. that, no. Does but I wonder if in a deleted knew. scene she said something, you know? Like, because I haven't watched the deleted scenes. It seems like that's something they would have included. Yeah. yeah, but it's not in the movie, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, we know that Mo. We know. We know it. <laughs> we should just... have talked about it. Well, you went you went to a f movie about giant fucking robots. But you know what? Fighting it still giant looks fucking badass. robots, and you're like, oh, this plot doesn't make any sense. I did. All I care is that they made Why badass robots. Why can't I have high standards? Fight like badasses. <laughs> because if you're gonna have high I have standards, high standards if you have high, have high standards, if you have high standards, you're not gonna enjoy life. So you better get used to not enjoying life. Okay, I want to yes. say something because I, I realize that sci-fi movies and movies that are completely based upon uh, non-real things, yes. I, I understand that it could still be, okay, I know that the world that this is set in is fake, but still you want to be, you want the pers the people, you want them to act as if they were real. And if they have yeah. crappy dialogue like that, ooh, it's one, don't touch me again too don't touch me again that's like it's so cheesy and 
you 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 feel that, you know? Can I just say okay, that okay, gives okay. an impression <laughs> all right, all right. spot on. Alright. <laughs> I'm gonna say this now, Linda though. Monst monsters are rising from the deep of the ocean and they're coming for you and you're fighting them with giant robots. That are, one of them is powered by a nuclear reactor. That <laughs> don't, don't, don't shoot them, but they're there punching them in the face, hitting them with energy <laughs> and all this yeah. other crap going on. How do, you, how do you, as an actor, take all that in and then make yourself seem like a real person set in this fake world? Well, yeah. I mean... Have, when it's so heavily influenced you could say by something that, anything, that man. also these the di for also, anything go ridiculous. Listen, go listen no, but to some dialogue in an anime. How do you make yourself a Lego? How do you make yourself that, that's, an that's, that's different. That's, diff that's different though. How do you do that? That's different. You do that different. Because no, Lego is putting yourself no, in a different world. You do that through magic. Like yeah, that's like saying like go into Avatar and you are now a blue person in a mystical world in which you believe in a tree. Okay, now you have to act like a real person. They did that. Pa they did that perfectly. Yes, oh, there, that's, were, that there was... were some very strong caricatures in that movie. Go look I mean, at the, it was the evil marine. Also, I mean, they did it like, better. Than but also, Mo, also, Mo, those aren't the same actors. Yeah, no, and it's not aren't. the same tone. Look at the tone of that just... movie. It is over the top popcorn action movie. Avatar was not that. Avatar was had a bit more of a personal kind of storyline. In Unobtainium. Pacific Rim, it's robots gonna go punch the shit out of monsters. I'm fine. You can, you can believe that's that. That's the tone of the movie. That was what you, they the expected. The they, they, they're not I trying to go win fucking Oscars. Also, yeah, you, I, I don't think you should have expected that, though. I, I think you should have, be able to look at a movie and go, too. yeah, and that's your friend's fault. Yeah. You're acting, you should be able to look at a trailer and go, oh, that's gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be a cheesy action movie, and it's gonna look fucking badass. I'm in. And if that's not your kind of movie, so be it. But for me, it is. So You were saying it's I enjoyed the, the hell out of it. movie's fault why it's like that. Yeah, that's your expectations fault. I will give it a shot, and I will not go into it with too, too high of expectation, especially concerning the dialogue, and I'll come back to you guys. Well, well you, shouldn't, you, shouldn't, you, shouldn't, you shouldn't... No one should really do that for anything. You should always just look at it as, right, I'm going to go in and see this movie. I'm not going to think about what it could be. I'm just going to watch it, and then... You should come out feeling happy. It's well, kind of hard to do, though. Sometimes it's yeah. hard to walk into a movie and not yeah. have. Especially if somebody hypes it up. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I will say though, if we if we expect everything to be acted, you know, real world, then you lose many genres of film that are cool and have their own markets. And their own storytelling mechanisms. It's kind of like it's, tell, it's kind of like telling the actors of Hellboy to be like, "All right, pretend this is real." <laughs> yeah, it's like they know it's not. Demon. It's based Probably on the source I can't material. Watch those movies. Hellboy was a, were two awesome movies. The first one yeah. far superior, but the second oh, one really? was pretty damn good too. I love the action sequences in the second one. Yeah, I loved the first one. That was my favorite. When they both do the punch, that was quite cool. Yeah. Oh. Hey guys, do you realize we had a movie podcast a couple of weeks ago, and if we were to label this I was on podcast as one. anything, and this we is talked about the Lego whoa, 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 whoa. movie Pacific we talk, we Rim. Talked, we, we, no, wait, 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 wait. Sure also, it should be we've been sexy. all over also, the map. We've also talked about Loch Ness going. The Loch Ness away. monster has gone we missing. We talked about Linda. a gay <laughs> <Olympics. laughs> We've talked about, about Cam going to Philadelphia. <laughs> we've talked about my non-existent country. As well. well, we talked about Mo's the... radio show. I think this is filled with lots of other stuff than movies. Yeah, okay, that's very true. We also talked about sexy Lego. Yeah. I think that's what yes. it should be called. And I am looking at a picture that says, <laughs> "Yes, sexy she Lego," and that's gonna. I will have Tom make that the thumbnail. Sexy <laughs> Lego. That is what it is. It's sexy sexy Lego. She no, wants. It does not need a theme tune. Do not sexy give it a theme Lego. tune. <laughs> if, no, we'll get. Uh, we'll get everything is awesome. And if and if anything, the, the, awesome. if anything, the, th the, th the theme tune is sexy Lego. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> sexy Lego. <laughs> and I know it. Hey, we have a cosplayer amongst us. That's a uh, mag. What, me? No, 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 mag. Super no, mag. Well, not a mag. Not amongst us. Not a magst us. What? Uh, not a mag. <laughs> Not amongst us, but in, in LBF. I, I, if, Mag, if you're listening, I challenge you to do a sexy no. Lego cosplay. No, no. I challenge you no. to a duel. It's time. No. That was a... No? Wow. No, 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 no Yu-Gi-Oh takers? I'm sorry. 
I challenge you to a duel. No sexy Lego cosplay. It's time to do 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 Thank you. Internet fist bump. Boom. Ow. Ow. All right. So we just had a retro, like us yelling at Linda of what we all talked about. So I think that's a good wrap up. That's quite an average. About an hour. Quite an average day. So. Uh, I think we had a good podcast. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Is anyone looking forward to any movies or any thing in the future? Because I'm gonna I say I really want to see Wolf of Wall Street. I want to see the Muppets too. But that are coming out, like not the ones that we've missed. Linda, are you the seriously Muppets, shouting Muppets, at me about this? The Muppets Super Bowl trailer made me want to go see it. Yeah, they had the epic like trailer voice guy uh, reading tweets, and some of them were just amazing. <laughs> like there's one tweet, tweet, uh, tweet saying. Oh, they're setting it in Paris. Cool. I went to Paris once. Eiffel Tower emoticon. Smiley face emoticon. Broken heart emoticon. <laughs> and the epic trailer voice. And it was amazing. And I want to go kind of see the movie now. If I can find it for, like, cheap. Like, my local theater will probably get it for four bucks. I might go. Just because. I want to see the Muppets. And I want to see Robocop this coming weekend. I might do an episode two of Nerd Sea Films with my buddies with that. Fair enough. Because I think my Robocop... The, the themes of RoboCop do still trans, transfer from, from the 80s to still today, which is a problem with a lot of sci-fi movies. They don't anymore. But RoboCop does because it was about technology overtaking our souls. And that's still a thing culturally we kind of have to worry about as technology continues to advance. Oh, well, I can, you, I, can still, you can still tell a movie with that theme. 2001 was my favorite. Oh, I love oh, that no. movie. But also, I, I, I get the idea because I sometimes oh, look I at my sister and my brother and I'm like... They're on their phones all of the time. Yeah, like and I, I think you can tell a, a cool movie with that concept. Plus, it's got Samuel Jackson, Michael Keaton, Gary Oldman, some cool, some really good actors. Open the pod bay door, hell. Oh my god! So you no, know I can't do that, Dave. Because even RoboCop two had some really cool <laughs> sci-fi <laughs> concepts for being a shitty movie, like with the robots that kill themselves, like that kind of thing, which almost human is kind of touching on a little bit. They reference that the the black dude's android model was defective and a bunch of them killed themselves Jesus. in the precincts that they were working at. Like, they only reference oh it. They haven't showed any of it. And it's like very similar themes. And I like those kind of things. So I'm looking forward to RoboCup. Okay. Anyone else looking forward to anything else? I'm looking I'm forward to the Loch Ness are... Monster being found. Okay. Captain yes. America. You just, you, two. You, you go now, Cap. <laughs> 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 what Ness never forget. Okay, right. No one else anything. No <laughs> one else got anything. Come home. Oh yes, Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier. Looking Less cool. than two months. Yay. And I don't think we should forget Game of Thrones, everybody. Even no. though it's still a little while away. Season three, yeah. February eighteenth. I'm buying. Into the book. <laughs> but yes, I hope. It's so hard to, to read it. Uh, we'll think about the Winter Soldier thing. I hope they don't base too much of it on the. Um, comics the comics why uh, not the comics his story in the comics is amazing one yes, of the best character arcs in any book in any publisher in the history of comics yes i know but i just i've seen i've read the comics i don't want to just see them again <laughs> but that's oh, that's dude. a terrible argument i know <laughs> i want them to just say fuck the source material and tell a brand new story that has nothing to do with the I comics or the movies they've set before it i want i want oh shut up because fuck Valentine's the character Day. right Fuck what makes him the character. Well, we, right? we, we've discussed this earlier this week when I was like, oh, I don't like the changes that they've made to Sherlock. And you were shouting at me on the, because I didn't like... The, yeah, but they're still, they still are the paying respect material. to the source material. They still I are paying respect to it. Um, they're not shitting on it. I don't know. Sherlock. Totally. I mean, yeah, that one guy kind of is, but that's one guy. Like, one guy at Marvel isn't making the decisions to change things. <sighs> so, because it's a movie. It's not a TV show. So there's differences in how things are being done. So, I, and I one's, still, a, one's a visual know. medium from comic books. The I other is a literary know. work, which can I have many know, different man. interpretations and has over its, you know, 150-some year life cycle. So there's more room for changes and in interpretations in that, I would argue, than in even comic I books. Know. So, yeah. But that's a, that's a topic for when we get to comic books soon. So we'll table that for the next one yep. when we get closer to Captain America. So with that, I think we're going to wrap up today. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I want to say something because it's also... I think we should all end with a Let's Be Friends chant. Like, let's be friends. 
Guys, no. it's almost Valentine's Day. I want you no. to no. have no. a happy no. day. No. no. And happy RoboCop Day. No. <laughs> happy my friends happy are going Titanfall to see Day, guys. Without me, while I get my molars taken out, so. That sounds, sounds like day. fun. Linda, if you didn't, Lin day. Linda, if you didn't have someone, you'd be sitting here being pessimistic with us. No, so because I... <laughs> you'd be me right now. Okay, yeah. you guys don't know. I Crying really like Valentine's Day. Even Yeah, even I really like being single. alone yeah, on the day. We can tell couples. pretty easily that you like it. No, because but other people are really it. happy, and you see that all around you. And I'm you just, just sitting see... here being miserable. No, the only you... part I like is the You're stupid horrible. Valentine's Day cards. <laughs> the really oh, bad that. ones. <laughs> yeah, there's some good ones. The really so, bad ones. Brilliant. Scott, Scooby Doo, we do you. <laughs> I say, I say, I say, we change Valentine's Day and make it Singles Day. Come on, there's enough couples yeah. out here. Yeah. well, good luck. We'll celebrate being good single. Luck at that. We'll go to, we'll go to dinner by I'll ourselves. I'll celebrate by being order drugged. All we want. Okay. Jesus. I'm getting drugged. I was getting high <laughs> on Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. <laughs> I want to like come on a Skype like really high. I'm gonna I'm gonna celebrate. I'm gonna it celebrate. Sounds like a good idea. Being taken man. Out. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Wait 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 wait. Robocop's out on Valentine's Day. What big? Uh, Wednesday actually, because they don't want to come out on Valentine's Day. Oh, damn it! If so, it could have been since Titanfall Beta is also coming out. It could have been Robot Day. We could have changed. That. Well, that's Still. such a creative name. <laughs> a plus name creation. It's such an awesome name day. Yeah. Just saying. Jesus. Such, everything Such is awesome. Fun. Much wow. Everything um, is cool when you're working a team. I'm just, no, it's not. I'm Rape dumb. is not cool. I've been away for 32 <laughs> hours. Alright, we're, gonna, we're, not gonna, we're ending right now. We're done. Hang we're on, done. What? What? I don't even want to know. Right, I was going to say, I was thinking a gang thing and it was probably not cool. Oh. I, I won't say that. Wolberg, Wolberg, we're ending this. Come on, let's do this. Oh yeah, my god, all right, no, we're not ending this now because Linda is shouting us to rap. Because for yeah, some strange we're not reason, doing she thinks thing she knows she what's says. best for the podcast even though she's only been on one. And her <laughs> only contribution seems so far as making me angry. I'm sexual. Congrats, Linda. So, did no. It. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We end on Wartburg's terms. <laughs> I'll probably okay. be kicked, and you guys will never see me again. So this is my big goodbye to <laughs> podcast life because I'll be kicked out. Well, no, the, you'll be. What you don't know is I'm gonna mute you your mic stick. from here on out, so nobody will hear you say anything. <laughs> we just edit Linda out and just replace it with a dog. Yeah, yeah well, we'll just remove with her. Siri, just replace her with like, Siri's voice. <laughs> We like auto tune the voice to make it something else. Tape series. I want to be auto tuned. Do something no. with it. <laughs> we'll change it to be like a auto tune. Asexual male. We'll, we'll, we'll change voice. it to be like a high pitched male, so Matt will be on instead. Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, we're done. Oh, we're wrapping. Okay. We All will right. see you in two weeks, internet. Well, two weeks again. Well, I kind of want to go bi weekly. I like it because it gives us time to do things yeah. and. Get a schedule and together and find out who wants to be on and all that. But to be fair, it's have we spoken time. about anything about we did the week before we, this week? Nah, it's not important. I don't remember no. what happened. Leave it be. That's us gone. So I don't remember what happened yesterday. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're done. Memory. All right, we we'll are see done. you next time, internet. Bye. Bye. Let's be friends. Bye. Let's, Let's be friends. friends. Let's, on my keyboard. Let's not, because be I got friends. enough friends. But whatever. We're out. But let's never forget. Bye. Oh, Jesus. Ah, hello there, loyal viewers. So you've just finished the podcast, and it was quite a lot of fun, wasn't it? Well done for sticking to the end. But um, I just wanted to say something here now. If Wartburg will allow me to uh, put this in, there have been... Think of this as a PSA for a start. There have been many... Uh, you could say debates, arguments, some fists for a throne, but no, that's how it goes. But there was something that I didn't say on the podcast, which I'd like to say now. Wartburg annihilated me. In that discussion about source material versus changing it for a newer audience, he absolutely annihilated me. And I did not give him any credit. So this is me now giving him the credit he thoroughly deserves. You're a great man, Wartburg, and you made me sad for a bit. This has been Lucas the Third PSA, signing off.